Pulse Live from the point of Saginaw and Washington on streets in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. First Congregational Church presents Cafe Devo, a five-minute devotion that fits seamlessly into your day with an encouraging biblical thought designed to lift your spirit and point you to Jesus Christ. Thanks for clicking the start button. God bless you. Everybody, it is Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yes, indeed, it's Sunday, and I hope your Sunday is going well. Welcome to this episode of Cafe Devo for February eighteenth, twenty twenty-four. I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood, hanging out here as I usually do with my pal Bugsy, and I hope your Sunday is going well and that you're making time for worship today. Because it is Sunday, we're taking a break from our Lenten devotions and turning back to Dr. Charles R. Swindoll. The devotion is taken from his book, Good Morning, Lord, Can We Talk? It's copyright 2018, Tyndale Momentum. Facing Failures. Any third grader could have told you the vaunted sky cycle leap across the Snake River Canyon on that Sunday afternoon was a triple A flop, a classic fizzle. The sky cycle created by Dr. Robert C. Truax gave up in midair. The driver floated to safety beneath a nylon cloud, but he did not sit long-faced in a dark corner. As bystanders shouted rip-off, He was thinking about write-offs, and anyone who can walk away from a failure with a smile must have something going for him. The $6 million man was a two-wheeled wonder named Evil Knievel. Nobody in his day was more famous. Nobody in the long history of wide world of sports ever came off a more abysmal failure better than he did. (laughs) The remains of the flop cycle littered the canyon, but the man who took off like a bird made out like a bandit. There's an abiding truth in that Idaho extravaganza that we ought to capture and cultivate. The person who succeeds is not the one who holds back fearing failure, nor the one who never fails, but rather the one who moves on despite failure. If anyone in scripture had justification for fear of failure, it would have been Joshua. He had some huge shoes to fill. He followed Moses. Yet as he stepped into his new role as the leader of Israel, God issued the newly minted leader this command. Joshua 1, 6 and 7. Be strong and courageous. For you are the one who will lead these people to possess the land I swore to their ancestors I would give them. Be strong and very courageous. Now God did not say, don't blow it, Joshua. There is no warning against failure. God understands our human limitations. What he desires is that when we do fail, we remain firm in our resolve to trust him, to get back up, keep moving, not with a tentative, halting attitude, but with a strength and courage that flow from our confidence in Him. So if you've blown it, don't sweat it, deal with it. Make things right today. Brush off your sandals and move back out in His strength and courage. It's really not that great a leap. Father, we thank you for this Sunday that you have given to us, the Lord's Day, day of worship. We thank you for your blessings, for life itself, for your presence, for your guidance, for your faithfulness. We thank you, Lord, that you are there even in the midst of our failure and that you deal with us in grace and love. Bless us this day, O Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that'll do it for us on this Sunday episode of Cafe Devo. Thanks for joining me. I hope our time together was a blessing to you. And I hope that if it's the right time of day, you have worshiped with us at First Congregational Church or you're making preparations to do so. We're saving you a seat here at the point of Saginaw on Washtenaw Street. Worship starts at 10 a.m. like it does every Sunday. Hope to see you there. For now, I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.